First of all, thanks very much um, for coming here today where we're showcasing a lot of the really good things that are happening in health, um, particularly when it comes to information and communications technology. Uh, the government in the last um, five years has more than doubled the budget uh, for information communication technology, and that's allowing us to uh, really modernise our health service, uh, to put more electronic records online, um, to put uh, laboratory results, uh, images um, online and electronically, and that makes a lot of sense. It's more economically efficient, allows us to make savings, uh, it's safer for patients. Very much what we're trying to do is glue together the building blocks that have been created. Ireland is unique in that it doesn't have a national infrastructure. It has lots of local infrastructures and lots of local centres of excellence. And our, our plan is very much to take all that excellent learning, all that progression that's been made, and make it available across the whole country. In Temple Street, we had rolled out quite a lot of technology over the last eight to ten years, but it was very much departmentally based and specialist based. And we've had some great successes in particular departments like being paperless at the bedside in ICU. But what we found as we rolled out more and more technology, and um, patients do not attend just one department, one specialty. They are inclined to go across your organisation. And what we found was that the clinicians here on site were struggling with the fact that they didn't have that unified view of the patient. So from an ICT perspective, we are, have a strategy towards being less paper reliant. We're moving into a, a new era, really, where we're, we're seeing a lot of benefits, a lot of spin-off benefits that we didn't expect. And um, we have lovely graphing facilities within the this portal and um, for the lab results and for that can be used as a motivational tool for children who've long-term conditions and you're showing them the benefit of them sticking within treatment regimes. We basically developed a bespoke uh, electronic health record specifically for epilepsy patients and our epilepsy patients in Beaumont so that has evolved over the years and the the data and the type of information that we put in the record has evolved and continues to evolve. It's now been used by our other colleagues around the country, which is fantastic because some of these patients then would uh, often be referred back to Bowman for possible epilepsy surgery, for example, so there's, the records are shared automatically. Well, in Cromland, we've sort of had um, well, three initiatives, really, that we, we talked about today. Uh, we, we developed a mobile app for our formulary. A formulary basically is the list of the drugs you would use in a particular institution. We also have a, an electronic drug file and a prescribing system, you know, so all the transcription errors, all the sort of minor mistakes that can actually have major consequences are all sort of taken away when you automate the process. We also have a smart pump um, system and, and standard concentrations. Mm -hmm. This basically means that when you're sort of giving, say, an infusion of a, a drug to a patient, a lot can go wrong. Standard concentrations mean you just have a set concentration or two types of concentration for a particular type of patient. And leading on from that, you know, th this sort of fits in smart pumps. So we have uh, further plans at the moment. We're trying to roll out that we've created a neonatal drug library specific to the neonatal population, um, of which 25% of our patients are in that population. So what we're hoping to do is to roll that out to all the maternity centres nationwide. And that will probably work alongside the maternal neonatal clinical management system rollout and also the neonatal transport team so that critically ill children and infants, no matter w whether they're in their own setting or they're being transported between settings, will all be using the same system. My main job is a consultant neonatologist, so I look after critically ill small babies across between the Rotunda and Temple Street. So the main benefit for us as clinicians is the fact that you can access data from remote areas and actually see what's happening to your patients in real time. Also, we would um, need to have that data very up to date. Um, also, you can audit things so we can look at trends. And probably the most practical thing is that you only have to log in once and you can see x-rays and laboratory and clinical information. And that's probably the most frustrating thing in other hospitals is that you have to log into so many different things and try and join the dots. Um, from a patient point of view, the best thing I think is that it's, it's, it's secure and safe and I don't have to go looking for a chart. Well, one of the great initiatives that's happened in the last year is the formation of the Clinical Information uh, Officers Council. And it's formed by currently over 130 members and it's bringing together all the various projects from around Ireland that um, each of the hospitals or community or private practices have brought together and want to perhaps become national or want help to progress further within their own organisation.